Hello and welcome to Brawl Jewel. This time I have a new adventure mod that goes by the name of South Dragon Bridge. This is the fourth mod by Mad Frenchie that focuses on the Thalmor faction. The mod focuses on the area around Dragon Bridge and adds several new buildings that both enhance the area as well as tell a story. The new district includes several houses, a new blacksmith, and a new tavern called the Dragon Morn Inn. And inside all of those you'll find several new NPCs, with some being unique and capable of both marriage and following you. On top of that, there's also three new dungeons to explore, including the biggest gold mine in Skyrim. The dungeons have been well thought out and include plenty of enemies and traps along the way. In fact, there's currently a fight going on between the Thalmor and some bandits over who owns the gold mine. So on one side of the dungeons you have the Thalmor, and all the way on the other you have a small underground city of bandits who refuse to move. So be ready to fight over 200 enemies, including several boss type characters that come with different combat styles and AI packages. The story of the quest revolves around why the Thalmor is near the Dragon Bridge. It's also not your typical Skyrim quest, and it's been designed so you can go anywhere you want, in your own order, and at your own pace. The story is told using journals, notes, and other events, and it'll take you from the south of Dragon Bridge to deep inside the new dungeons. The author has also added a more traditional random event side quest that involves you killing a boss that respawns inside the gold mine, which gives you a good reason to revisit the area later down the line. There's also two major rewards for following the story and defeating the enemies in the dungeons, but if you'd prefer that to be a surprise then click the annotation on screen now to skip ahead. The two rewards include a key to a new hybrid player home that's also the tavern I mentioned earlier, the Dragon Morn Inn. Inside you'll find several NPCs, including a chef, an innkeeper, and a bard. There's also plenty of places to store your items, and pretty much everything else you'd expect in a player home and tavern. The second reward can also be found in the tavern, and that's a new kimono armor set, that comes from a mod we covered quite a while back called the Blade Samurai Armor and Kimonos. And overall, it's a very well made story mod that can take anywhere from 3 to 8 hours to complete. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the 4th edition of the author's story mods, so let us know down below if you'd like to see those too. And as always, remember to leave an endorsement if you enjoy an author's mod, and thanks for watching.